So in this week's Torah portion, Vayera, I want to focus on one exciting a, a scene. Uh, we're told that right, Lot and his wife are saved, and then they're warned, forgive me, half my mouth is asleep, I've been to the dentist. Uh, and then they're told uh, not to look back, right? And we want to understand what is this warning of looking back. So Nachmanides teaches us, he starts by saying, right, that uh, uh, even, Ezra, even Ezra understood this to mean, uh, 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 you know, that uh, um, that the angels had warned them, and as a result, if they go against what the angels said, they'll turn into a pillar of salt. And Nachmanides says that makes no sense, because the angel was doing them a favor, telling them, look, that this something bad will happen to you, I, I want you to listen to me, and I'm doing you a favor. And Rashi says that the reason they couldn't look back was because they're also, but you know, they, were, they also weren't okay, so you can't look and see the doom of others, that you were also, you know, not a hundred percent. But then Nachmanides says, does something amazing. He has two interpretations. He says, uh, um, but you know, there's another thing that we need to consider. And, and he goes into this idea that, that when you look at something, right, like you look at a plague, you look at something bad happening, it can cleave to you and it can affect you. And this is fascinating because think of, for example, different things that we're exposed to on the news. You know, seeing horrific stuff. You know, he says, the Nachmanides says, ask yourself, why does the leper have to go outside of the camp? Exactly for this reason, because when people see the leper, it can cleave to their minds and they then can do evil stuff like the leper. And he gets into another fascinating example about people who've been bitten by, uh, uh, you know, stray dogs or whatnot and, and looking into water because something has entered into their body and if they see themselves, it might have a bad impact on them. So, so, so I think this is fascinating in itself because he's teaching us this, this, this incredible rule, be wary of the information that you, that you seek or the things that you notice with your eyes because it actually has a mental effect and as a result a physical effect on us. But then he ends by saying, and this is also very interesting, his choice of words, you know, but, but, but he thinks that, the, so he says, you know, I'm close to saying though that another reason here is that if they look back, right, what happened, it was sulfur, salt, and it was actually God's doing, right? The angel of God doing, and as a result, if you look back, right, we know we can't see God, we can't, we can't look at certain things, divine things, if we don't have the permission to, and as a result, by looking, uh, uh, you get punished because you're looking at part of the divine and you can't do that. So these are two fascinating interpretations to the scene and understanding how it is that the wife of Lot looking back turned into a pillar of salt. What, it, what was it this mental effect as a result and that, that has implications to our day-to-day -day lives on how we process and what sort of information we should be, we should be taking in? Uh, or is it this classic, like God says to Moses, you know, you can't see me and, and seeing the divine can have a, 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 a grave ramifications. Shabbat Shalom.